Following tooth extraction, ridge preservation is indicated to maintain bone volume prior to dental implant placement. In some cases, the buccal alveolar bone is missing and a barrier membrane is needed to prevent soft tissue infiltration into the bone graft material. The mesial distal width, as well as the length from the apical boundary to the palatal soft tissue is measured to determine the size of the membrane needed. Using the internal packaging of the Creos Xenoprotect collagen membrane, a template of the membrane size and shape can be created by transferring the measured size from the extraction site to the template. This helps improve the trimming of the membrane to the ideal size. The width of the extraction site is transferred to the template and cut to size. Now, the length of the template is measured and transferred, ensuring the guide is long and wide enough to extend past the extraction site, allowing it to be tucked between the bone and the soft tissue, providing a barrier. The template can be trial placed over the extraction site to verify the size and shape. Once the template is cut to size, the corners are rounded to improve the ability to place the membrane between the soft tissue and the alveolar bone. Once the template is at the desired size, it can be used to transfer the size and shape to the collagen membrane. Careful reflection of the soft tissue, including the periosteum, is needed to expose adequate bone entirely around the defect. Once reflection is complete, the collagen membrane can be placed below the defect between the buccal soft tissue and the bone to create a barrier. Using Creos Allogate bone particulate, the bone can now be transferred and placed into the extraction site. The bone is gently placed into the socket site in small increments to ensure graft material is placed into all areas of the socket. Care should be taken not to over condense the bone. Once the bone fills the extraction site, the collagen membrane can be tucked between the palatal soft tissue and the bone. Hydrating the membrane improves its manipulation. It is important that the membrane lay flat and nicely adapted to the defect. To stabilize the membrane, multiple suture techniques are possible. For example, a figure eight suture can be placed, or in this case, a modified continuous suture was demonstrated as it helps stabilize the membrane the entire width of the extraction site, ensuring stability and containment of the graft material. Completing the suturing with a surgeon's knot will secure the suture in place, stabilizing the collagen membrane and containing the bone graft during healing.